I want to show you something that's a really great feature in Photoshop CS4 and it's something called Content Aware Scale. Let's have a look and see what happens typically when we go to resize this image. Let's just grab our marquee and we're just going to drag it around it. Then if we grab our move tool, we can now hit Ctrl T or Command T on Mac for transform and we can start to transform it. Notice as we do this, it changes the entire shape of the building. Well, let's just undo that. Now what we're going to do is, this is almost like magic, <laughs> we're going to use the content aware scale instead. Notice that the handles appear, but notice what happens now as we drag, notice it knows which areas of the image are unimportant versus the areas of detail, and now it just moves it without distorting the shape of it. That's a really great feature um, and it can be used a lot in images when you have a lot of stuff in between that you want to get rid of or you want to change the proportions. Well what happens in a case for example when it doesn't really know which areas you want to keep and which ones you don't? Well one of the great things about that is let's just undo this. What we could do if we wanted to do that is we're just going to grab our quick selection tool and just drag around our image. Let's select it really quick and say we want to keep this and we want to make sure this doesn't distort well then all we need to do is just go under select and then we're just going to choose save selection and we can name it building I'll just call it BLD click OK. Now when we go back under the content aware scale and we're going to choose the content aware scale now you'll see some options here We've got this protect option here, and if we choose BLD, it will actually protect that building. Let me just turn off the selection first. We're going to select the whole thing once again. And then we're just going to choose our content aware scale. Notice here, we turn the building on. And what it's done is it's actually made a channel here. And notice that the channel's there, which is protecting it. So now if I start to try to move it in other ways, Notice how this building here is protected a lot more than the one on the bottom. Notice how the one at the bottom really squishes up. Eventually the one at the top does too, but it's protected as much as it possibly can. And if we go backwards and forwards here, notice it's, it's never going to change. It's going to completely protect it. One other option, you'll see this little picture of a person, and this protects skin cone. When we turn that on, any skin tones in the image will be protected, because typically you don't want to squish people. So there we go, that gives you a little bit of a feel of the content aware scale. It's one of the cool features in CS4. And by the way, check out at photoshopcafe.com. Check out, we've got a brand new magazine. It's called Creative Studio Cafe. And we have a super guide. It's a 70 page super guide on all the different products in Creative Suite 4, not just Photoshop, but also Flash, Dreamweaver, InDesign. We've got, um, after Effects, Premiere, Bridge, Fireworks, and this magazine's absolutely free for you to download. So check it out at photoshopcafe.com forward slash CS4.